Good morning, YouTube. We're at the gas station gassing up the truck, and uh, we're headed out on a service call. I put an air handler in on this job uh, this past winter because uh, they had an old, like, 1980-something ream air handler. Uh, it was actually just an electric furnace with a coil sitting on top. Very, very old stuff. It wasn't heating anymore, so we put a new, we put an air handler with a with a strip heat. Uh, I highly recommended this customer to change the condensing unit out at the time of the air handler because the condensing unit was in really bad shape. The condenser coil is all smashed up, half of it's closed, and plus the compressor, you could tell it just wasn't pumping right. It was making a loud noise and it was really struggling to pump. And uh, about two months ago, I had to go out and he said it just wasn't cooling right and I had to add more gas to it to even make it, you know, to make it pump and my pressures were really high and I told him again, you know, we need to go ahead and change this thing out. And, uh, you know, he still didn't want to. <clears throat> so he called me out yesterday and said he wasn't cooling again. I went out there and I found the compressor dead. Uh, we had equal pressures. I took a picture. I had my two Z manifolds hooked up. I had the low side Z manifold and the high side Z manifold hooked up. And uh, I will, uh, I, I took a picture, so I'll post a screenshot of that here on the video in a little while. And, uh, and you'll see that the pressures are equal. We have like 125 and 125, and it's, and the compressor's running. It's just not pumping. So uh, we'll. Uh, so when we get there, we'll uh, we'll show y'all uh, we'll show y'all that, and we're gonna move him to a 410A heat pump because um, the air handler is made for 410A. So uh, that's what we're gonna do for him. All right, guys, here is our unit that we will be replacing today. Heil 12 sear. And you can just see the condition of the coil. It's in pretty rough shape. It's flaking. Compressor's just pumping, I mean, uh, running and not pumping. Equal pressures. So uh, we got to run new thermostat wire because we don't have enough for a heat pump. And uh, set the new one in place. So we're going to get started. All right, guys, we got the old condenser removed. There's my stat wire, eight strand going underneath the house following the line set. Tyler's underneath the house. He just fed it to me. So it was actually relatively easy to feed the thermostat wire. So all we got to do now is set the condenser in place solder it wired up and then go wired up for heat pump inside change the thermostat inside to a heat pump stat and they'll have a heat pump <laughs> was it tight not too bad All right, guys, we've got our new heat pump in place. We have all the copper fitted up. Nice bins, got the dryer in. Everything's ready to braise. I gotta pull the shredders out, flow the nitrogen, and start brazing. And then we'll start a vacuum on the system while we wire everything up. Guys, we have the system in a vacuum. Um, I'm using my Appian core tools to take the cores out, and I've switched over to the blue vat gauge. We're down to 255 microns. Uh, I lost my field piece gauge, so I had to get a new one, so I decided to try the blue vat, and I really like it. Uh, we're pulling down nicely. I'm going to wire up the low voltage. The high voltage is done. And uh, go inside and redo the low voltage, because we're, we're moving to a heat pump. Mount a stat, and start the system up. All right, guys, we have our core tools valved off, and we are holding solid at 103 microns. I mean, it's not budging. So I'd say we got a good, tight seal on this unit. So now I am going to unhook the vacuum pump, get the smart tool hooked up, and release the charge, and start the system up.
can't get that Kindle or Android. Yeah. You got it to work. Mm -mm. Well, I haven't tried yet. I haven't fucked with it again. Tank's broken. All right, guys, the smart tool is all hooked up. Now we're going to hit the disconnect and fire it up. There we go. We're running a piston, so we'll let it run for about 10 minutes, and then we will get us a target superheat and uh, get it charged up and that'll be all she wrote. Alright guys, the machine's all operational. Everything looks good. Target superheat is 20 and we're running 16.2 so that should do just fine. Starting to cool off in the house. So, uh, all right, y'all. Well, that'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching, and we'll see y'all on the next one.